Whether you are wearing red for Heart Health Month or for the most romantic day of the year, there are some great ways that you can rock red and just look fabulous. An author and personal branding expert, Wendy Lynn Phillips, is joining us this morning with two of her lovely friends. Thank you all for being here. Yes, thank Everybody you. looks gorgeous. Thank you, Amy. All right, so let's talk red first because there are a lot of women who think they can't wear red right. because they think, oh, I don't want to look like I'm sort of being pushy. Like they think it's too much of a power color or they think, oh, it doesn't match my hair color. What are your thoughts on red? Great. Well, it's a hot topic right now. <laughs> and so tip number one is you've got to just find the right shade of red that best complements you. And so when you're working with warm reds, cool reds, blue reds, firecracker red and passionate red and cherry red, the question really is, does this complement or compete okay. with my natural skin, hair, and eye color? So that's why I brought our two models. Okay, I'm going to show you real quick the difference in a warm red versus a cool red. Okay. Now, warm reds typically have gold undertones, yellow undertones. You can see this is an awesome example of Lisa wearing warm red. So she's got her gold accents here and some gold highlights and her beautiful auburn red hair. And uh, we coupled that with a more casual way to wear red. And remember, re wearing red doesn't mean head to toe red. Right. You know, it doesn't mean necessarily a bold red dress if that isn't your personality and you aren't comfortable. So just a pop of red and we'll get to that in a minute but this okay. is, a, is an example of warm red i love it and that's then, gorgeous isn't that great i know thank you lisa and then tony's modeling our cool version of red okay. cool reds are going to have blue undertones and uh, you see that we've coupled it even with purple and silver jewelry so this that best complements her natural okay. skin and hair tone and so whether you're rocketed in a red powered dress whether you're using red as an accent piece tip number two okay is to simply use red as an accent. Because it's all about that pop of color right it now is. this season. The handbag, the shoe, just whatever it is, that, that pop of color, right? How fun is that? Oh, Isn't I love that, that. Oh, that's perfect you know, for Valentine's Day. Just using yes. a, a ring, a shoe, a bobble necklace, maybe even a scarf that you could tie around. Um, here we've got a headband that you could use, um, shoes, a bracelet, a cute little clutch here. Uh, and a big handbag. So it doesn't matter. There's lots of ways to express your style right. and do it in a red hot fashion. All right, so Wendy, how do we know what color of red or type we are? Because it all goes down to our lipstick too. I love the shade of red lipstick you have on Thanks. today. But it, it, how do you know what your color is? What's appropriate for you? Well, typically, this is a tip that I share with my clients. Okay. If you take a manila envelope and a white envelope, and without any makeup on okay. at home and hold that next to your face, you'll see one of the colors, again, best complements and one competes. Okay. And the wrong shade of red will make you look a little too tired and it often will bring out the shadows under your eyes. It can make those wrinkles more apparent and we certainly don't want that happening. Right. So the uh, manila envelope, you know, the golds, that's a warmer version. That color will typically best complement. Okay. Now, if you haven't had an update, lately because your hair color may be changing <laughs> often right it might be something to do and as we age and mature the skin sometimes loses its color and can sometimes right. get more sallow sometimes your skin is pinkier and you know so it's good to either work with someone else's whose opinion right. you can trust or just do it at home and most people know that when you get compliments, right. that's a sign it's working. I love it. Warm and cool. Great job, models. You both are gorgeous. Yes. Wendy Lynn, as always, so, thank you so much. And the tip for Valentine's is yes. from the bedroom to the boardroom, the color to wear is red. I love it. It's good. <laughs> and check her out Happy online. Happy Valentine's Wendy Day. WendyLynnOnline.com. Thanks so much. Yes.